where we separate. Remember everything I told you. Torish like an elephant. I would forget nothing. And forget that you ever knew me. That's already done. I never saw you before. Easy. And forget about the senoritas. Oh, kid, now you're asking the impossible. But I'll try. See that you do. When we meet, we'll... Uh... How about down that canyon? That's all right with me, kid. For the signal, I'll make the sound of the bullfrog when he calls to his little sweetheart. <laughs> Such a sad sound, don't you think? Yes, but not half as sad as hearing a sermon read over your grave. Now keep your wits about you. It's liable to be your grave. This is a very dangerous assignment we're on, no? Yes, but absolutely necessary if the treaty with Mexico is to be ratified. Good luck, Toro. Carson. That's right. I heard you were on the way. I'm Jason Briggs. Detective Jason Briggs. Well, you're just the man I wanted to see. I was told you might be able to help me. Well, I could. Let's talk about it in the cafe. I'd like to have you meet its owner, Laranya, one of the town's leading citizens. Hello, senor detective. Buenos dias, senorita. And who is this handsome man? Laranya? This is the famous Kit Carson. Ah, who is not heard of him? How do you do, ma'am? Sit down, please. What brings you to Border City, Senor Carson? Well, I... <laughs> He's here to stop the business of smuggling outlaws from the United States into Mexico. It's more or less, uh, goodwill. Oh, but that will be a good thing for both countries, Senor. The gringo banditos who come here all the time have... Uh, give this town a very bad name. Chiquita, take these gentlemen's orders. Welcome, Senor Carson. What do you have? Coffee. Those cafes, por favor. Senor. Alistair Harrow has Kit Carson. Well, what do you think of it? Very attractive. But I don't think you should have told her what my business was here. I didn't tell her anything she already didn't know. You'd be expected a couple of weeks. I'd like to know how. Already been jumped on the road. Maybe somebody's been reading my mail. You know, Carson, you're up against a powerful organization that's selling sanctuary in Mexico to desperate outlaws. But how does that tie in with the fact that my being here is common knowledge? Organization of that kind would make it a point to check on an investigator like yourself, just as a matter of routine. Which makes it easy to murder the investigator if he finds out too much, huh? That's the idea. You know, Briggs, for a man who has a reputation for capturing more outlaws than any man in the Southwest, you seem pretty alive and happy. Well, you see, I make it a point never to turn my back on a door. For instance, uh, take a look at that character that just came in. Well, what about him? Well, from the way he acts, he's got all the earmarks of a wanted man. Just your meat, huh? Reward is worth my trouble. I'll make it a point to look through my collection of old reward notices. Gracias.
Is there something you want, senor? Is there something I want? Does a starving man want food? Does a thirsty man want a drink of water? As you were saying. Just give me one big... glass of goat's milk. Goat's milk? Si, senorita, I'm in love with the goat's milk. It's my one great passion. You know, you'd be doing me a great favor if you'd make my home your headquarters while you're here. Thanks. If you don't mind, should we go? You know, I'm willing to make you a bet that that character's got a price on him. And if he has, Laron, you'll find out and let me know. You really have a system worked out, huh? Mm hmm And at a slight profit. <laughs> I know this man. It's Jose Garcia. Let's question him. Let's take him over to my place where he won't be disturbed. Good. All right, off your heart. Here, take care of this man. What has he done? He's one of the men that tried to kill my guest, Senior Carson. Who gave you orders to shoot me, Jose? I can put you in jail for a long time, so you better tell me the truth. No se nada, senor, nada. Well, they understand English as well as I do. Who do you work for? Come on, speak up. I cannot tell. I'm afraid. Afraid of who? The organization. Jose is playing it smart. He knows he wouldn't be worth probate once he talked. See, si, Senor Briggs. They would kill Jose. Who would? La Raña. La Raña. What has she got to do with it? I think she's got a lot to do with it. She may be the person I'm after. Carson, you're barking up the wrong tree. I know La Raña. She's worked on a few deals with me, but that's as far as it goes. Maybe. What about Lorania? Tell me. No. No. We won't get anything out of him. He's too afraid to talk. We got a safe place where we can lock him up? Yes. Pablo, what do you mean one of the back storerooms? But be sure there's no way for him to get out. Si, sí, padrón. Anda. Can your servant be trusted? No. But he doesn't dare disobey me. Say that capturing criminals has paid you well, Briggs. Oh, this is just my hunting lodge. We're going to start building the main house next year. Oh, I didn't know you hunted anything else but men. Oh, I hunt men for money. Wild animals for sport. Say, would you be interested in seeing my trophy room? Yes. Well, how do you like my trophy? Very nice. You like to hunt, don't you, Carson? It was part of my job with Captain Fremont. Oh, of course. And this would hardly hold any novelty for you. Say, I'd like to show you some more trophies. These once belonged to various famous outlaws who had rewards on their heads and were wanted by the authorities dead or alive. Of course, I always found it more practical to uh, bring them in dead. The reward is always the same. Yes, but then there's absolutely no chance of an outlaw escaping once he's killed. There's one weapon I don't see in your collection, Briggs. Oh? Huh? The mate to this, the favorite weapon of a killer named Pierre Andre. A knife like that has taken the lives of half a dozen men from New Orleans to Border Town. They say Pierre Andre never misses a throw up to 20 yards. Do you uh, think Pierre Andre's in Border City? If he is, it's my job to bring him in. Do you know what he looks like? No, never seen the man. Very few people have. The descriptions we do have are very inaccurate. I'm ashamed to say that I let him slip through my fingers. But Pierre Andre is safe from United States justice. He's hiding somewhere in Mexico. Maybe. Believe me when I tell you, you'll never see or hear of Pierre Andre again. My sources of information have assured me of that. I'd like to have a talk with your sources, Briggs. <laughs> Carson, maybe you would be interested in these. Circulars and posters of very famous outlaws I brought in. What are your contacts in Border City, Briggs? Mr. Carson. I'm glad to help you in any way that I can, as long as it doesn't jeopardize my livelihood. But I'm afraid my contacts must remain that private property. Is that private property for sale by any chance? Why, everything is for sale, Mr. Carson, for a good price. What is uh, Laronia's connection with the organization? On that score, I assure you, I don't know. Senor Briggs, Senor Briggs, it comes pronto. Something has happened to the prisoner. He's 
dead. Goodness. So you think this Jose fellow was murdered on purpose? Any murder is on purpose. Then that Pablo do it probably because Briggs tell him to. I don't trust Briggs, but I can't prove anything against him. How'd you make out at the cafe and with that sure death that calls herself Aranya? Sure death? How can you say such a thing, kid? La is a beautiful senorita. Beautiful or not, I'm sure she's tied in with Briggs. This cannot be. If ever I see an angel, she is it. The next time I see her, I think I propose to her a proposition of matrimony. The next time you see it, it's going to be with a price on your head. What do you mean? Briggs already has you spotted as an outlaw, so you're going to cinch the deal by becoming a murderer. I don't murder no bodies. Not yet, you have them, but tomorrow you're going to murder Kit Carson. What? You heard me. Tomorrow you're going to kill me. Oh, I never do such a dirty trick. Pablo, Senior Carson's not in the house. Si, senor. He left early for town. Did you say why? His money's arriving today, and he wants to be sure that nothing happens to it. Money? It's coming in by express stage, and he must be there. Pablo, go saddle my horse. Pablo. Tell me about it. Aren't you being a little careless? Huh? You and Pablo are the only ones that know about this. To everyone else, it's just a collection of books. Books? Yes, the collected works of Benjamin Franklin. But the money they... Right here. Between poor Richard and advice to the young tradesman. Let me put them in the saddlebags. May I ask why you're taking the risk of bringing all this money here? You hinted that your information would cost money. So I came prepared with government funds. The information comes pretty high. There's enough here to buy several like you. Can I leave this in your safe until we've made a deal? Sure. Pablo! Andale! Pablo! Oh. 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 Un momento, senores. You will both please raise your hands. I will take those saddlebags, senor Carson. Gracias. I repay you both by letting you leave.
never leave that till tomorrow, which you can do today. Benjamin Franklin wrote that. Caramba, he was a smart fellow. I hope you found out something. Each day waiting here in this camp is making me lose my ambition, and you ought to read what Benjamin Franklin has to say about that. Found this nail to a tree. They're probably all over the country. You're a famous outlaw, Toro. Five thousand dollars reward for Kit Carson's killer. Wanted dead or alive. The unknown mass bandit who robbed and murdered Kit Carson. I'm worth a lot of money, too. <laughs> for my school. <laughs> now, everything's working out fine. Tonight, I want you to go to the cafe and make them think that you want to escape across the border into Mexico. Kit, I'll go there with the greatest of pleasure. But you're so wrong about the beautiful La Araña. It isn't my friend, the pool. Where have you been keeping yourself for so long? Señorita, does falling in love makes you hungry? Si, El Toro. What shall we order for supper? Some tortilla, freola? How about some huevos rancheros? Or some enchiladas? Some of everything. Chiquita! Some more, my brave boy? No, I, I think that... Any idea who he is? Call himself El Toro. The bull. Open up! I saw you come in here with him. Mister, you're seeing things. Three seconds to tell me where El Toro is. One. Detective Rick took him to his house. Recognize this room? You've been here before. Maybe I do. I remember now you tried to take my money, that money. We are your friends, Toro. We are only trying to help you escape. And this is just the price for your escape. You're paid in full. Bueno, then I can go now and escape, no? First, you sign this. What is this thing? It's a confession for a murder. I myself saw you kill Kit Carson the day you stole this money. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't. Sign that paper, Toro. Then you will be safe from the law the rest of your life. Uh, 
How long will be the rest of my life? Not very long, my friend. This is all I need to collect the rewards that's been placed on your head by the law. Dead or alive. Kit was sure right about you. Kit? Sure, we both fool you. Count your money. Why, it's mostly paper. <laughs> Try and spend it sometime. Will you still collect a reward for him? Yeah. $5,000 for killing Kit Carson. But what if Kit Carson is alive? Kit, am I glad to see you. This job is all over, Kit. Yeah, so am I. Hanging is too good for that Detective Briggs. Detective Briggs will never be hung, Toro, because Detective Briggs has been dead for over a year. Then who was it with catch and turn over to the law? The one man I wanted to catch more than anyone else in the world. Pierre Andre! 